We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the New York Yankees. Aaron Judge looks to keep up the pace in the AL batting title race right after this. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? This guy's having a real solid season up to this point. And I know he'd like to get one more notch in his belt to get to that 200 Ks on the season. He's awfully close, so you'd have to think in the back of his mind he'd like to punch out a few here and get into that 200 K club for the year. In now is Andrelton Simmons, and we are set for baseball here this evening. First pitch of the at-bat. Yeah. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, it dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. Hey, I know everybody was on their toes right there from the pitcher to the defensive side. Leadoff hitters are known for this. Find ways to beat the ball into the ground and beat it out and get on base. Now they have to keep him in check. Let's see if they hold the runner close. At the plate, David Fletcher. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. His career line against Garrett Cole. He's just 1 for 13. Simmons gets his lead at first. Nobody out. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. Anthony Rendon. In now, Anthony Rendon. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. This guy's got a big shot at the triple crown. He's leading in two of the three categories and top five in home runs, so that's where he needs to pick it up. from the stretch this is an awesome matchup especially at this moment in time you got some guys that are fighting for some serious hardware and I want to see how this shakes out none out runners at first and second breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike cold or the coal train, as he's frequently called. This is year one of a new nine-year deal that he signed recently, so it looks like he's here to stay for a long time. Working for the punch out and the offering. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. From the belt, the pitch, and the knuckle curve freezes him as he becomes out number one. He's not going to feel good about that at that, nor should he. You have to want to swing the bat, but he just stood there and looked at four straight pitches. Hopefully, we'll see him get a little bit more aggressive next time. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout, as he'll take a change up here for strike one. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matty. Hey, you know what, Dero? This Ed Drummond, he's a good umpire. Fair umpire, good ball and strike umpire. Pretty much straight down the road. That's all you look for, Dan. Just be consistent. I don't care if you're given two to three inches off the outside corner, but you can't do it on the inside corner. If you're going to stick to one thing and stay consistent with it, no player will have a gripe with you.
Runners are at first and second with one away. Sharp ground ball to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. LeMay here for one. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. And kids, this is why you always go hard into second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Tommy LaStella. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. One out. Ball one. Runners on first and third, two away. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Into the second deck and gone. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Number 21 for him on the season. And the Angels have taken a 3 to nothing lead. I know height sights 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Justin Upton the next to hit. That's and as you take a look at the splits the here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Oh, there it goes. In the air to left center, and you can forget about this one. Back-to-back -back home runs. Justin Upton with the solo home run. Number 23 for him thus far, as the Angels have now opened up a 4 to nothing lead. Boy, not the way you'd like to start a game, right? First inning, you come in, you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back from that. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He definitely doesn't look himself to start this one. And this lineup needs to be on the attack early and be aggressive and find a way to stay in this game. One strike now from Cole. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And right into the shift. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Four runs here in this half inning. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here. And when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys. And, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. On now to the bottom of inning number one. The Angels are out in front, four to nothing. Matt Andrees gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? 
Hey, we're going to get a chance to look at a guy that uh, is a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. First delivery to him on the way. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now here it comes. And that misses one and one. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matty, we had a saying in Texas, hit or get left behind. And that's exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs, but good approach at the plate. Working the ball to all gaps. Line to line. This team swung the bats well. I'm going to be looking for that again in this one. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. 329 is the average for him coming in. 31 homers and 74 RBIs. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2-0 now. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. 3-1. Into his motion. Here comes the 3-1. Belted high in the air out to left. Looking up is Upton. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. 32 now for the season. As they get on the board, it's 4-1 to one now. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He enters play with 14 home runs to his credit this year. One and zero delivery. No one out. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Two zero count. The pitch. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. One strike. And a swing and a miss. Does that look like self-defense? There. It's two and two. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half that of the plate cool. right there. Try to bust Good. him in, Dero, and he Get fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. 
First delivery to him on the way. Throw over to the bag and the runner back safely. Oh, one pitch on its way. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. I know that fastball registered at about 92 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push to throttle and pull it is being used. Another 0 and 2 coming. Nope, outside. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that, that wasn't good. a great pitch to no do it on. Field. It's really not the best right. two-strike approach either. So now to the plate, Mike Talkman, hey. as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for All strike right. one. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. And a good curveball there, but he wouldn't bite. It's 1-2. From the belt, the pitch swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. The Yankees answer right back on the solo home run. Second inning coming up. It's the Angels four and the Yankees one. Second inning set to go, and the catcher Max Stassi will be the next to bat. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here comes the first pitch. A fastball here as you'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And he falls behind now, two and oh. This offense is absolutely feasting on these count leverage situations. If he's going to have any chance of feeling good about his effort tonight, this pitcher has got to get back in the strike zone. And that's in there, two and one. And it misses, three and one now. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Popped up. Urshela over to his left. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Batting nine, the first baseman, number three. Stepping in, Taylor Ward. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. First offering on its way. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. This year against right-handed pitching, Ward is below the Mendoza line. The batting average under 200, unfortunately. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two he is swung on and missed strike three. He's looking a lot sharper and has settled in here in the second inning. It'd be hard not to because that first three. inning was pretty much a mess. The but I give top. him credit for letting it go and making some really good adjustments. So now to the plate will be Andrelton Simmons. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 
Bases are empty here with two men out. Lifted down the line in left. Long run for the left fielder. And no one will track it down. Angel shortstop behind in the counter to ball in two strikes. Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in the dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. And that misses two and two. Two out, nobody on. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Angels are gone in order as they hold on to a four to one lead. Digging in now for the Yankees, Gio Urshela. He enters play sixth in the American the League in the batting game. race. Number 29. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. Oh, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Fly ball out toward left center field. On the move is Trout. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Batting set, not shortstop, Tyler Wade. Now batting, Tyler Wade. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. One out, nobody on. Pulls this one into the air, out into right field. On the run is Goodwin. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The first baseman. Stepping up to the plate, Luke Voigt. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball two. Two and oh. The two oh. Line hard to center field. Trout is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They trail it four to one. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in the second baseman, David Fletcher. David Fletcher. First pitch coming, here it is. A one count. Here's the pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Man, the batter's eyes lit up right there. A hanger just a little bit out in front. Couldn't keep it fair. Fouled away. The next 0-2. 
misses. That's ball one. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gardner is there. He's got it one away. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here comes the first pitch. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Two balls and no strikes to Anthony Rendon. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. Trouble waiting next. Did you see Mike Trout in the on deck circle? Set to deliver on three zero. Oh. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Gardner going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Now batter, the center fielder, Mike Trout. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. It's fouled away. Four to one's our score here in inning number three. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Hey, he's done an amazing job of settling down. Two innings ago, I thought they were going to run him out of here. But now he's close to posting two shutout innings as a response. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Angels go down one, two, three, but they lead it four to one. Welcome back as the Yankees prepare for their third turn through the order. Fans of the Bronx Bombers have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. They enter the day near the top of the league in both team batting average and runs scored. So it's safe to say they're among the cream of the crop in terms of offensive production. Talking with some of the coaches earlier, they all alluded to not only the high level of talent on this club, but also the hitters' tireless work ethic. They praised the professionalism these players bring to their craft as a major reason for their success. And they said the hard work breeds confidence when it comes time to compete in the batter's box. All right, Heidi, thank you. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Here's the pitch. Little chopper back to the mound. And that's the first out. Now back, second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up DJ LeMayhew. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A ball and no strikes. Slow roller down the third baseline. 
And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron John. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this is taken outside for ball one. A ball and a strike. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. This is good patience here to work at the three and one, especially after two quick outs to start the inning. Even if you don't end up getting a hit or drawing a walk, at least you're making the guy work a little bit and giving your pitcher a chance to rest a little. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney standing by with a report. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels' offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already put four runs on the board, and they've done so by running up their opponent's pitch count. So he said he thinks they're going to have a lot more opportunities to score because of that as the game goes on. All right, Heidi, thank you. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring in Tommy LaStella to bat next. The last at bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Swing and a liner. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Up good. Here's Justin Upton now. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at-bat. That last at-bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. Strike one to start the at-bat. And now pitch on the way. And he misses with it one and one. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. Gone. He finds the short porch for a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game as they stretch the lead to 5-1. Ball's jumping in this one. That's the fourth to leave the yard so far. Matty V, this is kind of a mini home run derby deal. A ball flying out of the ballpark today. Just great approaches by both lineups today. We were around the cage during batting practice. Both were super confident, and it's coming to fruition today. And he fouls this one off. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Wind up and the 0-1. Oh, Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in and then get right back outside. Nice pitch. Uh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. 
Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. To the plate now, Max Stassi. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Five runs, five hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Fouled off. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. And another foul ball. Ready with another 2-2. Drill down the line. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. But the Angels add one more to their lead, and it comes via the solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's all Angels here, five to one. Next will be the designated hitter, Miguel Andujar. He singled his last time up. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Grounded up the first baseline. And facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Andujar hits a little over the 270 mark. Now the 0-1. So far this season, Andujar is slugging north of 480, which puts him among some of the best power hitters in the game in that category. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Reined in. Throw on to first in time, one away. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Gary Sanchez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. 5 1 our score as we play the fourth here. Hey. Left it up in the zone but it's a strike one and one. Now the pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in a count if you're a pitcher because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. And in a one two count you might be sitting off speed and what happens he gets the fastball and he can't catch up to the express. At the plate now Mike Talkman as he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. <laughs> on the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down 1 and 2 now. 
really tied him up on that one. Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, Matt. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. Fouled away. One run, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Waiting on it is Goodwin. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They're down five to one. And now for the Angels, Taylor Ward looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And the pitch. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle and man as a hitter probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Here's the 0 1. Oh, Some bad. action out in the bullpen couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Fouled straight back. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Ball at the track. Count ball. Waiting next is Andrelton Simmons. Now the three and two pitch. And a good eye here as he takes ball four and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're trying to put a start away. Make him work his tail off. Throw a lot of pitches and get on base any way that you can. A big inning at this point of the game, and he's probably gone. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound, and it appears that we've seen the last here in this one of Garrett Cole. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings, as this will not go down as a quality start, that's for sure. Luis Sessa takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Number 85, Louis Sessa. Andrelton Simmons will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Runner. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. The short hit hard. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. The batter number 22, second baseman, David Fletcher. Ready for another shot now. David Fletcher, one for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. Has a look, now the pitch. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Now the one and one pitch. High in the air out to center field. After it is Gardner. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. The third baseman, number six, Anthony Rangel. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone, and that'll bring up Anthony Rendon. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a looper to left. 
And that's going to fall for a base hit. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. So he's able to come through here with two away. And that's a good time to check out our RBI leaders on the league leaderboard. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Ready once again, Mike Trout trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. He's ready. Now the pitch. Oh, that tipped out. Hits this one hard the other way. A dive, and he knocks it down. And they will still manage to get him at first. A spectacular all-around play, and the inning is over. A run, a hit, and a man left. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Halos lead this one 6-1. to one. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. A lot of their outs have come from weak contact and strikeouts as a result of chasing pitches outside the strike zone. He said it's going to be extremely important for them going forward to be more selective with their swings and force the opposition to throw more strikes. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Leading off for the Yankees. The third baseman, number 29. Here's the pitch. Off the plate, ball one. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And that's out number one. Oh, man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. He's ready. Here's the first offering. That's popped up. And that's in there. Base hit. Boy, this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just another example. And even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages another base hit. Yeah, don't overthink it. When you're flowing like he is right now, he's hot as a pistol. Everything's falling. And the runner will get back standing. Stepping in now, Luke Voigt as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Runners on first with one down. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two two here it is. He'll try to hold back but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing and there are two away now. 
fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him go around according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Jaime Maria takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Number 51, Jaime Maria. Brett Gardner will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with the runner at first and two away. As a look, now the pitch. Hit hard to short. Simmons with a slide. He gathers the throw. Hats off to that one. One hit, one left. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Angels six and the Yankees one. Here's Tommy LaStella now. He'll start things out now in the top half of the six. Tommy LaStella. First pitch coming, here it is. And that misses ball one. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. 2 0 now. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Do next is Justin Upton as he gets loose in the on deck circle. A 3 0. Grounded back up the middle. He's right there. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The left fielder, number eight, Justin Upton. Justin Upton will stand in looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Bases are empty. One man out. A 2 0 count to the Angels left fielder. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front. Now Upton with a swing and a deep drive to left. And this one is gone. A home run. So a solo shot down the line in left, his third home run of the ball game, as it's now a six-run ball game. Well, you have a great night in hockey. You score three goals, and that's a hat trick. But how about hitting three home runs in one night? That's the baseball equivalent of a hat trick, and that's awfully hard to do. In now, Brian Goodwin. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. No hits to this point. The wind up and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. And it's fouled away. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. One out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off.
The 2 2 one more time is taken ball three. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. At the plate, Max Stassi. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 and 0. When you're down six on the mound, you got to at least throw strikes here. Now the 2 0 home. Two out, nobody on. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. But the Angels add one more to their lead, and it comes via the solo home run. Bottom of the sixth coming up. It's the Angels seven and the Yankees one. Leading off the inning, DJ LeMayhew, and they'll need him to get something going here. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball. 1-0. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. The 2-0. Oh. Ball, that's it. Aaron Judge waits on deck. <laughs> and that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Show right some field. great patience and discipline, yeah, right. making the pitcher labor yeah. to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Here's big Aaron Judge. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Nobody out, runner on first. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. 1-1. One, one. A ball and two strikes now. A line shot to third base. And the runner gets back. No double play. Now batting. The designated hitter. Miguel. And too hard. In now is the Yankees DH Miguel Andujar. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah Matty expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground the way this defense is they could certainly roll too. And that'll get down for a base hit. And he's safe. 
Hey, there's a base hit right there. Now they have a couple of runners on with Come less back. than two outs, but they're down by so Carry. much in this game that hopefully maybe they can get something started here in this inning. Yeah, 100%, Dan. I've played the game a long time. I've never seen a big league hitter giving that bat away. You chip away and fight until that 27th out is made. One ball, no strikes to count. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And he misses again, 2-0. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. The 2-0 on the way. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Ah, and he'll make it back in safely at third. set and the 2 1 pitch well the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game it remains to see if they could get it but now it sure would be a good time on a line that's a base hit the runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at their deficit. That makes it a 7 to 2 game. Nice execution right there. Kept his balance on a nasty breaking ball. His hands stayed back and he was able to fight it off for a base hit. Standing in now, Mike Talkman. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. And he takes a cold strike 1. Now the one and one pitch on the ground is short. This could be two. There's one on the first. Not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. They couldn't turn the inning ending double play. They just get the force out at second and the runner scores from third. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First pitch on its way. Yeah. Oh and one. A runner on first with two away. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Seventh inning coming up. Angels lead it 7 to 3. Tommy Kingley is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 48. Tommy Kingley. Settling in now, Taylor Ward. The first baseman, number three. From the stretch, here's the pitch. On, he takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. 
And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0 2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Now the payoff pitch home. Grounder down the line at third. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The bat, number two, shortstop, Andrelton Simmons. Digging in, Andrelton Simmons. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. Bases are empty, one man out. Right side. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Check that out right there. I love me some of that. Staying inside the baseball, moving it the other way. Sometimes a pitcher can execute his pitch, but doesn't mean the batter can't grab a knock. Into the box, David Fletcher. No balls and a strike to count. Runner at first here, one man out. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. You know, it's funny. The first two strikes are for the fans. You're trying to put balls in the seats right there. With two strikes, it's for the team. You've got to shorten up and find a way. And that's exactly what he did right there. Soft liner into right field for a base hit. In now is Anthony Rendon. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. One out to Rendon. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Three. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. And a swing through on an off speed pitch. Looked like he was actually a little late on that one. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. Into the box now, Mike Trout, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Here comes the 1 0. Oh, that's down. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2 0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. Now, a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. 
Throw on to first. He'll be in time. And a good chance for the Angels goes for naught as the side is retired. Angels strand a couple. But they lead it by four. It's seven to three. Ryan Buchter gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 46, Ryan Buchter. Last half of the seventh here. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Tyler Wade. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. One and oh, the count. Now the pitch. Hey. Buchter has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. High in the air down the right field line but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Buchter has tossed over 30 innings so far this season and when you look at his whip over those innings it's not a particularly pretty number over 1.5 so he's often dealing with a lot of traffic on the base paths unfortunately. He's set here's the 2 2 hit down the line at first scooped up and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next to the, the first baseman. Ready for another chance? Luke Voigt. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Maddie. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Good one's in pursuit. He can't get to it. This one's down. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. They haven't had much luck so far Not tonight, bad. so they'll Not definitely bad. take that extra base in. It only takes one, so maybe they can string together a few and get back into this thing. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Now it's two and zero. Oh. Runner at second here with one man out. A high fastball is in there. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Really good late bite on that slider now right that there. The best the ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so Thank tough you. to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1 and 0. Oh. No hits to this point. A 1 0 oh pitch. Hey! It's 
two out here and a runner at second. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. Count is two and one. And the two one. Aye. High in the air out to center field. Trout has a read on it. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. One left for the Yankees. They're down four at seven to three. Ben Heller has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 61. Ben Heller. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring in Tommy LaStella to bat next. Tommy LaStella. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Rope, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. The three-and-one pitch. Is in there for a full count now, three and two. I got three and two. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now that left you. Time now for our starter comparison, and that tells the story. As you can see, neither guy able to get past five innings. Justin Upton will stride in again as he looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as he'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. First pitch coming. Here it is. In there, no balls and a strike. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Into the corner and slicing foul. The one two misses for the second ball one out nobody on still two and two now the pitch and it's up to a three two full count now. This is on the ground over to first. And Upton's aboard. It's a base hit. Boy, this guy is off to some kind of series. And he's one of the better road hitters in all of baseball. Dan, some guys just have a knack for lighting it up on the road, getting that good night's sleep, and finding a way to get to the yard early and work on their craft. Stepping in now, Brian Goodwin. Oh, 
as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Heller, a right-hander standing six foot three, he was taken in the 22nd round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. The 1 0. Liner toward right center. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. Throw hey, won't get him. Hey, look at this guy compete right there. Nice base hit. Are you kidding me? He had already had the hat track. He was staring the golden sombrero straight in the face, and he said, No dice. Chad Green takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Chad Green. At the plate now, Max Stassi, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 0 1 pitch. Not a surprise to see that low splitter there. Anything with downward movement like that is going to be at the top of the list in a double play situation. A 1 1. It is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, three. it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you could tell these things and exploit them. to the plate now Taylor Ward fouled away 0 for 2 from him so far in this one on its way the 0 1 pitch pitch taken several inches below the zone in fact One one takes a pass and misses that strike two boy he center cut that fastball it comes in in the high 90s but that's a dangerous location no matter how hard you're throwing runners at the corners two men out and he struck him out so a masterful job of being thrown into the fire and getting the big strikeout to end the inning back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger the three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Justin Anderson is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Digging in, Aaron Judge. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. The right fielder, Aaron Judge. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled the ball one and one. Oh, 
Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. To two and two now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Digging in and looking for more, Miguel Andujar. So far, two for three in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. The 1-1. One, one. Sent out to straightaway center field. Trout has a read on it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Now batter. The catcher. Gary. Sanchez. So here's the cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. He's set. Here it comes. Ball one. Now the 1 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. Trout retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Adam Ottavino enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Andrelton Simmons. It's been a two-for-four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Andrelton Simmons. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The batter number 22, second baseman, David Fletcher. Now at the plate, David Fletcher. He steps in off a of base hit in his last at bat. He's set and the pitch. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1-1. One one. That's back-to-back -back sliders on the outside part of the plate. Now would be a good time to come in with that good hard stuff inside. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. To first. And there's out number two. The third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendell. Now at the plate, Anthony Rendon. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. First pitch of the at bat on its way. On one.
two out nobody on. One and one. Pitch on the way. Two balls, one strike. High hop, and he bare hands it. What a play. Angels are gone in order. They hang on to a 7-3 to three lead. Noah Ramirez, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Noah Ramirez. Standing in, Mike Talkman. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The left fielder, Mike Talkman. From the stretch, hit hard on the ground to the right. Oh, he makes the stop in time. Big league play in the hole right there, and that's a pretty good example of why getting hits at this level is so difficult. You know he was running down the line thinking. For real? You gotta be kidding me. Coming to the plate now, Gio Urshela. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Maddie. Gotta find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Takes this the other way to right. And call that a nice clean base hit his first of the game. Hey, there's a bullet off the wall. The outfielder does a really good job of getting that one in quickly, but I think they had a play there at second base. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there, Dan. I, I, I got to believe you're busting it out of the box thinking two until somebody tells you no. I know it would have been a close play, but I think you got to err on the aggressive side right there. In now, Tyler Wade. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. And that's in there. Base hit. All you can ask as an offense is to try and get that tying run in the batter's box. And that, they've started out nicely right here. They've gotten two runners on. They're down four. Grand Slam is still in play. Let's see if they continue this nice offensive approach. Ty Buttry comes on here looking to get the final two outs and earn the save. Riding in, Luke Voigt. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. Here's the first pitch to him. With runners in scoring position this season, Voigt carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. The 0 and 1 delivery. Slapped hard the opposite way. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Here's Brett Gardner now. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Right down the middle with a changeup, but not what he was looking for. Taken for a strike. And 
And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive in a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Last chance for the Yankees. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. And a pitch takes off inside and gets away. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game, and it took six here to get the job done, but, hey, they'll do whatever they can to get a W. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. Los Angeles put up a four spot in the opening frame on the way to victory. Jaime Berea wins out of the bullpen his ninth victory of the year. Garrett Cole struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.